All right, IED, for the selfie stick, and we're doing 2.1.4, documenting the assembly. Uh, first thing that we did was we got the information in. Now we're going to create a exploded view. So make sure that you are in your assembly uh, building, and then there is a button over to the right side of your screen. There are three buttons next to it, and it says exploded view, create exploded view. It looks like this right here, and it's over to the right side of your screen. Click on that, and you should get this window that shows up, and it says, is add exploded view so we're going to click add exploded view and it's going to go ahead and say build steps by dragging components so here's what we're going to do we're going to start off and we're going to drag these components out you're going to have to click the green check mark every single time so i'm going to click on this one and see how you get a xyz motion we're going to drag the top part out and then you're going to click the green check mark and then you're going to click the next one drag it out then you're going to click the green check mark. Then you're going to click again, drag it out. The actual distance, you could actually input distance here if you wanted to. Uh, and you could also check if you wanted like lines to show uh, whether or not they attach together or not. I'd just say just pull it out to whatever you want to and then click the green check mark. And then, you know, keep continue doing this process. Pull it out, green check mark. Here's the shoe, pull it out, green check mark. Um, this screw. We don't want to pull it this way. We want to pull it out to kind of show that it's actually going to go inside this assembly. It looks like this uh, hinge is going to be like the center part of it. So we're going to click the green check mark there. Uh, and then from here, we're going to click and drag this down. I think um, it's going to get kind of long. I don't know. Why don't we try? Uh, let's see if I can get it to actually. Oops, looks like I clicked two things. That was not a good idea. Click. And then let's see if we can drag this out. That might work a little bit better. So then green check mark, and then we're going to click this one and drag it down. That one should probably go along with it. Looks like I'm going to need to do that in reverse order. So, and then the green check mark. And that will give us like an exploded view of what we have. And try to make it make some like logical sense whenever you create it. This one's a little bit weird, but I didn't want this to go like super long whenever we were creating it. This does go on paper. So when you're done with it and you've got your exploded view, go ahead and click done. And it will create an exploded view that you have right here. So there's a whole lot of different view steps. We can take that and we can then put it inside the drawing uh, whenever we have our different views set up. So I'm going to go to my drawing and see if we can actually load this up into our views. So here's an insert where it says insert view. We're going to need to click on that and we'll go ahead and click on the insert button. So it'll let us know what we're actually trying to click on. And you don't really see the assembly on this side. That's because we don't have this button up here that says assemblies clicked. Click on assembly and then click on the selfie assembly. And the view orientation, um, let's see here. We should have, ah, yeah. So there should be a spot that says explode slash position uh, since we made an exploded exploded view it's going to actually show up as explode one we're going to click on that and then i'm going to go out here and see if i can get it to click and show up all right now it came in as a front view so that really wasn't exactly what i wanted i wanted this to be an isometric view so i'm going to highlight i'm going to delete it and i'm going to go back in i'm going to do insert and i'm going to hit insert again assemblies, selfie assembly, and it's going to bring up all these options. I want my front orientation view to be isometric, and I want my exploded view position to be position one. And we can probably make this a little bit bigger. We'll kind of tweak it as we go along. There, there we go. That looks a lot better. So I'm going to click on this, and then we're going to make it a little bit larger. So I'm going to click on it again. Double click, and you should be able to get these options back up on the left side. Uh, I'm going to change my scale. It's one to ten. Why don't we change it to like one to four and see if I can, that might be a little too big. Uh, how about one to five? There we go. I may be able to click and drag that around. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to drag this view out over here so that we have an exploded view of our setup. And I think this is where we want to go for this one. So if you have your exploded view, congratulations. Next time I'll show you guys how to make a bill of materials and how to put the callouts in for those materials. You'll have a great day and we'll talk later.